Invite Jim Tressel to an evening having anything to do with Youngstown, and if he can make it, chances are he'll show up. A couple of weeks ago, I followed Jim Tressel around for an evening and talked with him about his schedule. He is the Everywhere President. It's 6 o'clock on a Monday evening. Youngstown State President Jim Tressel arrives at the Chestnut Room of Kilcauley Center to say a few words at the white coat ceremony for the School of Nursing. She was grateful that I have another event at 7 o'clock and I can't talk too long. And he didn't talk long. With his coat on and briefcase in hand, he was out the door. But I like to get on the treadmill and watch the news. Right. 20 minutes later, we followed Tressel into Canfield's Mahoning County Career and Technical Center, where he spoke at the All-County Board of Education annual meeting. Just another evening in the life of Jim Tressel. There's a lot of events that I attend, uh, both educationally and community-oriented, and I'm not sure there's one that I've uh, attended that he hasn't been at. How many of these do you do a day or a week? Oh, I don't know. It, probably too many, but... Uh, uh, as many as I can fit in. Starting with the day he signed his contract, May 12, 2014, Jim Tressel has been everywhere on campus, attending board meetings, announcing new projects, meeting with faculty, planting trees, handing out drinks, and overseeing graduations. When the YSU rock was painted with ISIS graffiti, he showed up and helped repaint it. When the university held its football camp, there was Tressel holding for extra points. A youth football all-star game at the Watt Center. Tressel was dressed in his YSU letter jacket. During the ALS challenge, the president took a bucket. You know, I felt when I was a coach that we needed to do more than just coach football. And I feel the same uh, as being the president, that there are certain things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis and we are responsible for. But then uh, I think we're responsible for being part of the entire team, if you will, of the region. He's just as active off campus. The United Way's Day of Caring, the Business Incubator's top ranking, a WIC neighbor's block party, the Regional Chamber's Boardman Breakfast, ringing the Salvation Army's bell, cutting the ribbon for the nine-tenths new lounge, the Strimbu Barbecue, and the Canfield Fair. I haven't figured out that, that way to, to get the right blend of saying yes and saying no, but, uh, you know, we're doing our best. When Bill Clinton came to town, there was Jim Tressel. When they rappelled downtown, he was there too. Signing a Christmas card for the troops, no problem. And he loves schools, Cardinal Mooney, Struthers, and Lordstown. Occasionally, I kind of wonder how he manages to get from one place to another and be there on time. And Dr. Martin Abraham is YSU's provost, the number two man on campus. His office is next to Jim Trestle's. And actually, more even than the prospective students, their parents come out and they want to meet Jim Trestle. And that's just such a great asset for us, and we've really capitalized on that. You know, a lot of people supported us, and so to think that we should just, after our needs were met, uh, you know, not get involved with others, wouldn't, in my mind, wouldn't be the right thing to do. Well, Jim Tressel told me his New Year's resolution was to get 15 more minutes of sleep a night. Instead of setting his alarm for 5.01, it's now 5.16. I asked him if he was at the office by 8 o'clock, and he told me no, well before that.